Okay, guys, this is my latest little project. I'm doing a fundraiser uh, with Artsonia.com, and we're creating this nifty little jewelry with my classes. Um, and we're designing the center of the jewelry, this part right here, the little circle. Okay, I actually need to get one out of my bedroom so I can show it to you because the company sent me one. And the circle part that we're designing uh, will be shrunk down and made into little buttons with magnetic backings that will be put inside the actual jewelry, which is really cool. And the kids will be able to order stuff for their moms for Christmas or their sisters or their aunts or grandmas or whatever. So I did this one as an example for them, and I'm going to send it off to the company. Um, I have a thing for dragonflies and butterflies and stuff like that, so I'm, I'm doing a dragonfly one. Um, and I did C for Crosby. Uh, and I kind of did some zen tangling and some zen doodling all around it and stuff like that. It's probably way too detailed and you probably won't see all that detail, but I just enjoy doing it, so I did it. And this one I'm not quite finished with, but I've gotten a good start so you can kind of see where it's going. Uh, but that's where I've gotten so far with that one. Um, the items that I've used for this were primarily my Prismacolors and I've seen some videos done on Prismacolors and how great they are and stuff like that. They are really great. They do have a few drawbacks. Uh, this is a 48 set and um, I really like them for the color saturation that they give you. They do a really good job in that uh, respect. Um, but I don't really care for the quality of the wood, and I don't know if you can see this, but I'll try to get it up here so you can. Um, the wood tends to splinter really badly sometimes. You can kind of see a little bit of the texture there. I've got a couple more that are actually way worse, like this purple one here. You can see where it's jagged, and sometimes it'll crack, and it just gets really splintered and stuff as you're sharpening the pencils. And these do not come pre-sharpened, which is another drawback. Um, but the, the softness of the lead makes them very, very blendable. Okay, They just blend to get, together like butter. I mean, they are just amazing. When you put one color over the next color, they, they really do. They just blend together like butter. And I've had these for several years now, um, and I really enjoy using them. Now, the only drawback to them is, um, aside from sharpening, uh, and how they tend to splinter and that sort of thing is the fact that you don't get a really really fine point on those. Now they do have a product called Verithin where you can get a much harder lead and it will give you a sharper point. I haven't gotten any of those yet. They tend to be kind of pricey. I'm using some Crayolas which have great wood on them and sharpen really really well. Um, they don't have uh, quite the color variety. I've only got a 12 pack right here but you know they do lay down smooth colors. The leads are a lot harder. They don't have nearly as much pigment uh, or color saturation in them. But, you know, for student grade color pencils, they're pretty good. Now, I've also used some woodless color pencils. And these are really, really neat. Uh, they're called Progresso. I don't know if you can see that in the title. But the only problem is, and you can see I've got one scotch taped right there, if you drop them on the floor, they will break in half, okay, because there's no wood on them. It's just a thin sticker that goes around, and I've got a couple of them here that have been taped back together so that I could draw with them, and I just handle them very gingerly, and I keep them in the case at all times, and I'll try not to transport them if I can help it, that kind of thing. Um, and I just ordered some Micron pens. I have heard so many great things about these and how everybody loved doing the Zentangles with them. I like them. They're nice pens, um, but I do find myself sometimes going back to my Sharpie pen. I'm a little heavy-handed, and I've already started to bend one of the tips on one of my very expensive Micron pens. Um, I've noticed that my Sharpie tip is a little more durable, it seems to be. I haven't bent it at all, and I've been using it for weeks and weeks. Um, and, you know, I got two pens for two forty-five, so that works out great. <clears throat> hey, Bonnie. Bonnie wants to be in the video. That's Bonnie. She's our new guard dog. Yes. She does a very good job. Okay, and I just ordered this fabulous Prismacolor pencil sharpener. And the nifty thing about it is, and if I get the light just right, you can see it does fat lead and it does skinny lead. 
so you can make your pencil fat or skinny if you're needing to get into a tight little place. So, and it also caps down so if you need to carry it with you or something like that, you can. Um, I'm trying to talk my husband into getting me a new set of Prismacolors for Christmas. I might be able to get the 72 set, but he says I'm definitely not getting the 150 set because they're $130. Um, and the 72 set is a little more reasonable. I think they run around 50 or $60. So I'm going to try and get those for Christmas and we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll get lucky, but, um, that's what we're doing right now. And, uh, it's a really fun project. The kids have enjoyed it. And if you go to artsonia.com, you can look up our stuff. I'm going to be mailing it off tomorrow, so it should be um, should be a lot of schools have their stuff on the website soon. So you guys will be able to see it there. Alright. A Crosby 74 out. <laughs>